Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are following up the right side video to the Alliance War Showcase with the left side video. So the fights, unfortunately we don't have um, the Mojo, the Onslaught or the Shocker, but um, we'll talk about them and make that this video a little bit quicker and then we'll include the Wolverine, America Chavez and Arcade fights for the end. So this was the team I bought in, the one you see on the left. I used Bullseye for Spider-Man Supreme and the Leader. I then used Venom for Shocker, Lady Deathstrike for Onslaught, Spider-Ham for Mojo, Spider-Ham for America Chavez, and then Wolverine for, and Lady Deathstrike for, uh, sorry, Venom and Lady Deathstrike for Wolverine. So the first two fights we've already talked about, but we'll talk about again quickly. Uh, to intercept Spider-Man Supreme is how you get rid of his sort of invisibility, or it's how you can, it gets rid of his protection, but... Then you need to get rid of his invisibility. Sorry, is what I was trying to say. Bullseye is the best one for this because um, it's just built into his kit that he can't miss. So he makes this fight quite easy. And he's also a good counter for the leader, who is a House of Mirrors champion. So you will need clarity for the leader. Uh, I believe that on my first way round, I managed to solo both of them with Bullseye. Um, so I didn't need to use any revives here. But you would have seen those two fights in full on the right side video if you haven't check it out as mentioned prior so now we'll move on to the shocker fight shocker is um house of mirrors tag so you do want to bring in somebody who is clarity i used venom for this fight he worked really really well you gain 15 percent attack rating and your uh, a parry triggers a passive stun instead of a debuff which is handy for shocker because obviously he uh, reduces the duration of those while you're close to the defender you gain a placebo effect. Um, he gains 8% max power each time a buff is nullified or expires off you. So once that placebo ends or any sort of buff, he will gain max, uh, sort of 8% of his max power. And whenever you gain a buff, he gains an overclock charge. 10 of these uh, is the max stacks. For each charge, he deals 15% energy damage with each strike. So it's just a big shocker with House of Mirrors tag who can evade and auto block. Venom works really well for this. I did say Beta Ray Bill. Um, as well um, CGR is a good option Gladiator is a good option quite a lot of good options for the shocker fight but really you want to keep him to his SP1 get up your clarity passive so that he can't auto block um, on specials like he normally does but also so he can't evade and auto block and this fight shouldn't be too much of an issue for you guys so that is the shocker the onslaught isn't house of mirrors he does have the regen passive um, as the same as America Chavez when you land two types of basic attacks uh, in a row he gains a prowess if you remove a prowess from him he gains a burst of 50 percent of, of a bar of power so you want to try and prevent bring it uh, not bringing in champions who will remove prowesses and when he's struck by a critical he has an eight percent chance to gain a 20 percent physical resistance buff for five seconds So good champions for this. It is a big onslaught. I use Lady Deathstrike. She did work very, very nicely because she regens special attacks and uh, everyone knows they're quite tricky to evade and, and all that business. Um, she was doing physical damage with the ruptures, so that helped out an absolute ton. And all in all, she was a great option. Um, Ironheart is also a very, very good option with her ruptures for this fight. And then some other um, tech champions, say your favourite ch tech champion, who you usually use against onslaught will work. They don't have to be clarity, do remember that. So a big onslaught fight, keep him to his SP1 and shouldn't be too much of a problem. Remember, if you do have to use revives, it's not a problem. Then we move on to Mojo. Again, has that annoying regeneration passive to prevent you from sort of uh, uh, unit manning through as easily as you would like. You cannot, or they cannot heal above the amount they start the fight with. So that is quite nice because if you end on, and he has, Mojo has 1% of health left, they won't be able to regen above 1%. You gain a six second placebo again um, whenever the defender is inflicted with a non-damaging debuff uh, that resets the timer. So uh, the champion I use will work really, really well for this. Whenever you would gain an effect you're immune to, he gains a non-stacking power gain passive. So it keeps his power high and his healing and regen uh, effects gain a bit of potency too. So for this mojo, because they're, they're quite big in health, you want to try and bring in somebody who is degen immune or degen resistant so i went with spider ham because obviously at 10 uh spidey sent spidey um nonsense charges 
He doesn't have as much degen damage. Uh, Silk is also very, very good for this fight as, as she limits the degen. Just make sure you're not doing the commands that he constantly asks. Don't always block a hit. If he says block a hit and don't do any of that because that will put degens on you. But again, a big mojo isn't House of Mirrors, so you can bring in any counter you like for this fight. But Spider Ham and Silk are the two main ones who, who work really, really well. Bullseye can work. Uh, Lady Deathstrike can work. So if you've already got them in your team like I have and you want to get this mojo down, you can use them. So then the Wolverine does have the House of Mirrors, so he will evade an auto block. So you will need a counter to him. I, that's why I bought in the Venom for him. Each time a regeneration buff or passive is activated, if he's not under a heal block, he gains a Vigor charge. At 10 Vigor charges, he becomes passively unblockable. This isn't really an issue for this Wolverine because he uh, has easy to deck special 1, special 2. Um, your combat power rate is reduced by 15% for each buff you have. So just be cautious bringing in champions with lots of buffs. But like I said, any clarity champion for Wolverine does work really, really nicely. You can use Lady Deathstrike if you want to, but you will evade and auto block, which makes the fight more annoying. Um, but let's go across to the gameplay we have and see how I got on with that fight there. So moving into this Wolverine fight, uh, as you can see on screen, we do take Venom. We have tried a little bit with Lady Deathstrike, but because she doesn't have the clarity, it doesn't really work. So with Venom, I really shouldn't have died um, to this fight. It's a pretty easy fight. Okay, the regen's a little bit annoying, but you just want to build up your clarity charges um, as easy is easy. But you can see there I die, which is just ridiculous. It's an easy Wolverine, and I'm still dying. Um, it's really a little bit disgraceful, really. But we go in again. We go in with our Venom, and we and we do try again. Um, he probably is a, he, well, he is a perfectly good counter for this. Any clarity champion is. This Wolverine fight is very, very easy. Uh, he goes unblockable and he has evade and auto block if you don't have your clarity champions. That's it. It regens a bit, but you don't necessarily need to take an heal block champ because with a seven star, you're doing quite a lot of damage as you will see Venom do. And the fight really is that, you know, that easy. Uh, it's, it's not something that you, sh again, you should worry about too much. That is really it for this Wolverine fight. As I mentioned, there's a lot of great options. We talked about them in the right side video. We'll talk about them in this side. Any clarity champions, your CGRs, Gladiator, Beta Ray Bill, Venom, Chilf can even work for this fight, even though um, she's a skilled champion. Um, Black Widow, Deadly Origin, Adam Warlock. So many champions who you can use for this fight because it really isn't that tricky. So you'll see the fight's about to end and we'll move into my first attempt at the America Chavez fight. Um, now, we do bring in spider Ham for this fight. This fight doesn't go as well as my right side fight does, where I didn't even have to use a revive because spider Ham would constantly um, evade her SP2. So I did have to use a couple of revives, but it is what it is. I got through it. It's not a problem. Uh, the showcase is all done. So with her, if you haven't watched the right side video, she has a very potent power gain. She always wants to use her special two she's looking to activate a special two more often and um the first hit of the special two is unblockable so for spider ham it's quite good because sometimes he can evade but as you can see on screen there sometimes he gets absolutely smashed and nothing happens i press the retry button it obviously doesn't work the worst button in the game right now what is the point of it be even being there pointless but yeah we see a little bit of the dog and we're back into the fight with spider ham Bring up your, with Spider Ham, I say is a good option. Um, other champions, she's not House of Mirrors, so you don't need to use Clarity Champions. You can bring in, say, a Scorpion to block her special attacks. You can bring in people who will prevent her power gain. You can bring in Luke Cage or whoever it is that you enjoy using. But I did go with Spider Ham. Obviously, is my rank three seven star, uh, one of my two rank three seven stars, and is therefore very very powerful. So that's who we went with. Um. Yeah, putting the poor. Key poppers on her. Um, obviously, with her potent power gain, does mean that if you can keep her to her SP1 and she throws lots of them, she will die relatively quickly. Uh, she does take quite a lot of damage from them, but the problem is, is that you know she's got that power gain, so she's constantly throwing that SP2, which hits very, very hard. So in the end, I just think, well, stuff it. Hopefully, Spider Ham will evade, which she does. Thank you very much, Spider Ham. Um, and I should just try and put as many Porky Poppers on her and try and do as much damage as absolutely possible before she kills me. 
So here was a little bit annoying because she parried, then she threw a heavy attack, and then all the porky poppers I, I built up there, all four of them were running out, and then I was just waiting, and then now she has no porky poppers, so I'm going to get hit here, bang, I'm dead, and now I have to revive, and the fight was just very, very annoying, um, as you can imagine, with America Chavez. But this fight will end very, very soon, and then we'll talk into my first attempt at arcade, and that will be it for the left side video. So we jump in one more time with America Chavez, or well, with Spider Ham against America Chavez, and this is just obviously all about building as many Porky Poppers as I can before the fight, yeah, before she smashes me with an SP2 and I die. Uh, obviously, kind of a, a crap way to, to to do the fight, but it is what it is. Not much we can really do. There she goes, but dead. Fight is over. Moving into arcade. So for arcade, he does have House of Mirrors. Um, and that is why I bring in Beta Ray Bill. Um, he is a, I, I, pre, I can't remember if he's immune to stun, not shock. So Beta Ray Bill, again, works really, really nicely. He has the clarity tag, so he stops the auto evade and um, uh, auto block and evade. But also the, the very, very good thing with him is, especially in this fight, I am able to use Venom later when he has the true strike to stop the evade and auto block. So with Beta Ray Bill, it's a relatively easy fight. I don't necessarily play it too well. Let these hit you into the block. Dex, the last one, you know, not going too badly at the minute. Okay, maybe he's, you know, he's not got the clarity passives that I would have liked yet. Um, I start charging this. A terrible idea, but I luckily get away with it because I'm able to block right at that last minute. But for some reason, I just, I, here I have some form of fit. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're back on track. You know, we're, we're playing it the right way. Throwing my SP2, putting a few shocks on Arcade, waiting for them to um, go away, and then hopefully throw our SP1. Are we going to get the shocks? No, we get refreshed. So that's the only thing I can't really get with Beta Ray Bill at the minute. Maybe I'm not playing him enough, and that probably is what the issue is. But um, because I'm not playing him enough, I'm not getting that big damage from the shocks because I'm not timing my SP1 correctly. I do know that, and I, I sometimes rush too much, especially in the current Battlegrounds meta, where you're constantly gaining power. But here, you know, there we go. I time it quite nicely. He takes the big damage, and boom, that is um, a lot of arcade health done. So Beta Ray Bill was very, very good for this fight. I do make a massive mistake here. Why do I try and dex it? I don't know. But it does mean that Venom can cut him come into the fight, clean up with his true strike, and we have no problems. One last revive used, and that is it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Check out the right side videos if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.